when you when you it. uh when you are are growing up in a household and you say I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make as much money as I possibly can and move to the suburbs, you separate yourself from the intergenerational household probably by three to four counties by doing that, and that is an offshoot of regular individualism with the goal being to be in this elite nuclear unit. That's and I'm not saying a nuclear unit is the problem. So please remove that argument off the table. I am saying we're far away from intergenerational households because of rugged individualism. It's an offshoot is what I'm saying. So take well, off the nuclear family in the sentence. And replace that with rugged individualism is what destroyed yeah. the community. Right, but right. if I do that, that he going to say that uh, that it's still connected to intergenerational households. Who cares what she going to say? She You, Sweeney. No, no, I wouldn't say Marcus, that. Marcus, you sit here talking about a gay-ass woman talking about some crazy Nick, dumb I'm, shit. I'm not, I'm what just... are you talking about? What hold are you on. talking about? All right, let's go ahead and get your ass hold on, hold on. We're going to have an ad hominem attacks, man. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. We don't question her, her sexuality ain't the reason why she's wrong. Right. It actually so, is the reason why she's wrong because she has a certain belief system. What are you well, talking her about? sexuality isn't the reason why she's wrong. That is part you of can, her belief you can attack her argument without attacking her. That is a yeah, part of her belief system. Now her. you have a belief system and it causes how, how it changes how they think. Sweeney, well, you, you telling me that anybody, not her, any person right. that yeah. is of an of that's not straight is going to be able to say something like that without their mind being different because they no, like I'm not saying that at all. I'm just Thank saying you. No, Thank I'm not you, saying that God. at all. I'm saying, without, different. No, I'm, on, saying, I'm saying that it's okay to attack her argument. We don't have to bring in her sexuality as a as a attack on her. But we can just talk about the problem. If we're talking no, about marriage, no. then you have to talk about her being gay. Like right. go together. It's like oil and water don't mix. Her okay. ideals are are skewed because of her sexual. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, a lot of people, we just, I mean, JR just Bro, put a. I'm just uh, saying, that no, I get that, but but JR just put a poll in the chat where most of us ain't even suitable for marriage. And I'm sure that probably has a huge factor in why we're in the place that we're in today. And I'm guaranteed, majority of them people are straight. No, so, majority of them people buy. Like, let's be real. Most of uh, these people. Damn, are she done called y'all by. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I put a poll up that said most of them. Aren't suitable for a mate, true or false? Sixty-four percent said true, and thirty-four percent said false. Okay, Jasmine. Yeah, go ahead, Jasmine. Oh, so let me know if I'm frozen. But um, okay, so three things. One, I don't know who Prince Stella is, or I was going to ask you to define rugged individualism, but we'll save that for another time. And um, two, I'm very much like a big family person so I felt very obligated even though they didn't make me feel obligated like oh you have to do this and you have to do that no they were very much go off live your life find a mate find a partner whatever do whatever you do but I didn't want to I don't know I just felt very obligated to stay not far but like close by so I can still you know look after them and stuff and me and my brother talk about this all the time he's like oh we want to we want to build the compound where like the whole family just like lives on the compound in different houses and stuff but we can like have a little cookout area in the middle pool and like a basketball court because like we're a really big family and we're really like we we get together a lot so it's like I don't necessarily have to find a husband when I have like a best friend or I have my family and stuff what Yo, um, I think you said looking up the pros. You, Am frozen. I frozen? No, you're okay. Yeah, you're frozen. But you're okay. that wasn't my point. So don't attest. Am I frozen? This is, this no, you is said not. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We got to let her finish. Let her finish. Let her finish. Go ahead. Okay. I don't, I don't know what part I froze on, but um, I was saying You that said something about instead of getting a husband, husband, you have a best friend and some crazy shit. Yeah, you can have a best friend. You can have your, like, your soulmate cannot be, like, your actual husband. It can be, like, a partner or a friend or something like that. But you can still, you know, you can have a husband and stuff like that. But a lot of people get married. They get divorced. They, you know, they have relationships. They break up. So that don't necessarily mean that that's the person that's going to hold you down for life. It could be your best friend that's by your side till the day you die. Or your, you know, your brother or your sister, like, your, you know, siblings and stuff could be by your side till the day you die. Or they care for you. My grandma brings me soup. Or my mom takes care of me and stuff. So it's like, end up. I'm just saying, like, you can't always put all your eggs in that basket of, oh, my God, I've got to find a husband or i got to find a wife and whatever. And so, I mean, just put just I don't know, just hoping that that's what's going to make you 
live Jasmine, your life happily or whatever. Jasmine, that's how life's supposed to go, ma'am. You're supposed to says find a who, goddamn husband. Says who? It says everything. It says the Bible. It says every goddamn thing. What are you talking about? What? Did the Bible said find find your bestie and y'all live together? What the hell are you talking about? This is the reason why our women are so screwed the fuck but, up, y'all. Hold on. Why are you Sorry. Are you married right now? I'm divorced. So why are why are you divorced? Because it didn't work out. What, but didn't the Bible you say you're supposed to be married? So why are you? <laughs> the Bible didn't say nothing about divorce. So again, you, who's you, taking care of you? You want to be my wife? No. <laughs> hey, then, sit down and be quiet then what are you talking about because if you're not if you're not gonna fix the problem shut up how are you gonna yell at me when you're not even married <laughs> who did you bro that's a great point to say that bro. that's what's wrong with the community and condemn the people who are not doing the same thing that you no i'm for. condemning what the dumb shit that she said she literally said you don't need a husband. You just find that's your, a that's your bestie opinion. and y'all live that's together. What, what kind of dumb shit is that? That's what I said. I didn't yes, think it is. I didn't say you don't need a husband. I okay, said what did you say, uh, Jasmine? Uh, go ahead and clarify for Lego. Huh? I said, what did you say? Go ahead and clarify for Mr. Lego. I said it should not don't have to be your main focus in life. Because some, some, I, like, say. All right, uh, go ahead, Pink Pineapple. Go ahead and, and help Jasmine out. The house enough to even hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. person in human life. So it's like, forget finding a wife. Like he can't even make friends. So it's like, I need you know, he's just not a social person. So like you said, you might not even be a good enough person to even be a partner. You could become a partner and be a shitty partner. So it's like you need to at least socialize yourself to at least be able to make friends, make you know besties and stuff like that, and then you maybe will be better for relationships. Well, you do okay. know that you get in a relationship, you learn how to do it together with the person you're with. You don't learn that from friends. Sometimes, you. unless no. you have good friends that are, you can have no. friends. I learned a lot from different friends, you know. Sometimes Understanding you men understand. versus okay. being around a woman are totally different things. Do you realize being around a woman? And what about uh, um, lesbians and gay couples and stuff like that? You talking about men being around women? Uh, le lesbians. Le le do you know lesbians have a 75% divorce rate? So we're not going to go there. So what I'm saying is women, th this is how dysfunctional women are. Women actually think they can hang around other women and now they have a good understanding of how men are. Do you realize how different men and women are? What the hell are you talking about? Men do podcasts thinking they know where women are and they talk about them all day. They're <laughs> fucking women. So we kind of know, we kind of know we're fucking women. Y'all aren't. What are you talking about? We're, in, we're having interpersonal relationships with women. I would I would argue that women have more interpersonal Ooh. relationships with women and women than and women and men than men do have with men and men and men and women. Especially with lady right. I say most people buy. Wait, <laughs> right. that's a, that's a, come on, let go. I have no idea what you just said. What the who what? <laughs> What you just say? You said they not fucking yeah, women, men right? Men and men and women and women and men and men. I know. <laughs> what the hell did he just say? Men and men and men You what? said you said that women aren't fucking women, right? Lady Doc. No, 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 no. I did not say that. I'll tell you what I just said. Okay, so I said, they are. He said these male podcasters act like they know about women. Uh -huh. I said because they're fucking women. They're having interpersonal relationships with women. Compared mm -hmm. to her statement of having a bestie and knowing better about the opposite sex, which okay, is yeah, all right, that's fine. 